I was thinking of doing a five minutes procedure texture course here just for you. So all in real time and only five minutes and you will learn a lot. So I start directly. UV, normal, generated, all of those have blue here. Blue means vector. Vector means more than one number and also like a range or a length. If we look at the UV, we can do that by just dragging the UV to the surface and you will see that it's dark down here. That means that it's black and zero. Up here it's much brighter and have number one for one direction and one for another direction. And I will show you both by separating the UV and that you can do by pressing Shift A and then go to Converter, Separate XYZ. And now, as you can see, if we just look at the X direction, it goes from black here to white here. That's zero to one. With Y, you have the same thing, but in other direction. Zero down here, one up here. So how can we use this to make patterns? Let's start with something simple. So we have the X. Let's make it a bit uh, black on this side as well. How to do that? Well, then we must convert 0 to 1 to B, 0, 1, 0. So one way to do that is to first subtract. With subtract here, taking that up here, you can now subtract with 5 and now you have like a minus here and a positive here but it's only positive up to 0, 0 0.5 so we would like this to be 1 and 1 as well so we multiply this so shift D multiply pressing 2 that will give us minus 1 and 1 now I would like both of these to be 1 so I can use an absolute so we're working with math here shift D change this and when we change this into an absolute, which we have here, you can see now that we have one here and one here. Now I would like these to be reverted or reversed. So we have like very bright here and black here and black here. Well, then we are subtract with one. So shift D to copy and then subtract with one. And you have it like this. Okay, can we do the same in another direction? Of course. So you can just change this Y in here. And now we go in another direction. We can, of course, combine everything if we want to. We can take everything here, just Shift D, copy it down here, have one for X, have one for Y. And if we then combine these in different ways, we get different patterns. So Shift A, converter, using a math here. We can add them together but since that's a rather high number now it's two maximum here we will hardly see more than white okay so we can change it to multiply now it's a little bit more round here but it's not perfect well we can add like a compare which means that the result if it's equal will be one if not equal it will be zero so Take one of these, shift D, and then we change to compare here. And when we change this, you can see now that you get it's more like a circular shape, depending on how close you go. And you can also get it almost like a square here. Because the white stuff here, that is equal, meaning everything that comes out from this is 0 0.2, but not quite, because epsilon is the difference so that means that we could have 0 0.3 and that would still be okay and we could have uh, 0 0.1 and that will be okay so higher number here more white and a lesser number then we have more narrow because now it's only 0 0.23 and 0 0.17 something like that. So by combining numbers you can easily get different things and you can do the math here but that we take in the next chapter. This was just to show you.
So five minutes is gone and bye for me.